All right. All right, everybody. What is going on? I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. We're nearly there, man. Number two, Antonio Brown, wide receiver for the Steelers. Now, before I start this video, guys, um, I, I want to talk about what, what I've seen of him. I have actually done a video on, on Antonio Brown before, but I hadn't seen him speak to the camera. And there's one guy that has really, has really just hit me. You know, I don't know if it's his confidence because he knows he's so good or because he's just got that demeanor, that sort of laid back, like happy, like, I don't know, really smiley all the time. Um, just just a, a, a faint little little smirk. You know, he's got those fucking piercing eyes, man. I've never seen a guy with eyes like that. It's insane. Anyways, guys, Antonio Brown, wide receiver for the Steelers. He's number two on the top 100 players of 2018. He was number four last year. You know, who is this guy? Who is this guy? He's a fucking legend. And he's on the front cover of Madden 19. So with all that being said, we're about to watch Antonio Brown on the top 100. Let's do it. I like him. Did you watch the show? Of course. Are you not? There he is. Did you watch the show? Of course. Are you number one this year? Man, there's a lot of great guys out there. I, hopefully I'm higher than number four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Might be the teeth. You got some insanely perfect teeth. I think that's what, what it might be. Jeepers, look at them. Pearly whites, all right? What's up, boy? You got that ball in your hands like a video game. What you love it? Like saw he'd be Super Mario, just bouncing. That's kind of how he plays. Like when he's running his routes, he's like just bouncing from like you know to the hash to the 50 yard line to the dead number to that, just bouncing around the field. I'm gonna run to this part of the zone. I'm gonna go to that part of the zone. I'm gonna go to this part of the zone. I'm gonna catch the ball. Then I'm gonna run past everybody and score. Big Ben Roethlisberger. Throws the back shoulder fake. Not a bad record. Not a bad record. How was your body able to react to that ricochet? Got a call about axe. It looks different. <laughs> Throws it deep down field. Oh, what a grab! Antonio Brown! Sensational! Antonio Brown, superhuman. AB is the you know, best player I've ever seen in person. You know what I mean? The double team doesn't matter. A.B. going to beat the double team every time. What a leaping grab by Antonio Brown on the near sideline. Incredible. He's being mossed. We played them Thursday night, and dude, that guy was crushing it. There was nothing positive that came out of that film for us. Dude, the guy catched the ball on his helmet. Like, that's ridiculous, you know? <laughs> we used to do this in practice, and nobody could ever do that. That's a helmet catch. Well, I haven't seen one of those yet. Antonio, we was kids growing up in the same neighborhood and playing sandlot football with him. And then he throws to the far sideline. And they say that he passes from out of bounds by Antonio Brown. Come on, man. I mean, he's got Xavier Rhodes right on him. And that's a catch. That's a catch. Man, no, you know, you got that second foot down. Bro. I got both of them. Hey, look like it. I tried it. Hey, look, you tried like it. <laughs> Tony, you know. You know I'm Tony Tota. <laughs> you know I'm Tota. <laughs> man, ain't no Tota. Nah, nah, nah. Um, Tony, man, I think he came up with it. One in, yes in. Whoa, that looks good. Oh, man. You're right. You got it. That's Tony T. I thought you were joking. I see it 24-7. It's in practice. It's walkthroughs. It's when he catches the ball immediately, he's tapping. Tony tap. He catches, you know, 200, 300 balls after practice every day, and he's always working his feet. And the biggest moments, he's always going to get the job done. When we played against Green Bay, it was 28 to 28, and we were about to get the ball with 30 seconds left. 
and everybody was looking at me. He was like, he looked right at me and was like, Joe, don't worry about it. I got y'all. Ain't no pressure out here. Here we go. And him being so confident, so chill on the sideline, I was like, if AB goes out here and makes this happen, he's the GOAT. <laughs> and what happened? Did he do it? <laughs> he went out there and made it happen. Hey, man. Looks and lofts it over the left side for Brown, makes a catch out of bounds. They're going to say it's out of bounds, I do believe. Or they're looking at each other. Brown out of bounds at the 45 yard. Whoa, wait a minute. Whatever. Calling it a Whatever. Are you kidding me? No Good way. Mesa. Let me see this. Probably the best catch I've ever seen in my life. Let me see this first. shit. I'm standing right there, too. Like, I'm not. Fighting. Oh, wow. The first thing that comes to my head, I'm like, yo, that's a catch. Okay. Because obviously, you'd be like, okay, who caught the ball first? It's AB. He's known for his 20 taps. And that's what he does. Like, shit, man. Okay, so if I ever catch, if I ever see AB catch a ball close to the sideline, and I think, nah, that's got to be out. That's got to be out. I'll definitely be looking for the uh, the replay because, for whatever reason, he always seems to have his toes in. The drag, the toe drag. You got to, I've got to get that, man. If I'm going to be catching the ball near the sideline, I've got to start getting used to doing this toe drag, trying to get two toes in. I was calm because I was like, yeah, there's no way he just caught that ball. Like, there's no way. And then they started reviewing it. Brown tries to scrape that right foot. Left Far out. Chin. That's he so good. Goodness, I think he did that it. is so good. And I just kind of looked up at the thing and was like, wow, he just caught that ball. Play some drag, baby. Place and drag was back. Place and drag. Catch the ball. Place your first one and drag the second one. Thanks, AB. Thanks for that advice, bruh. That is some nice advice. Give drag, baby. Oh, and the way you said it, man. Place and drag, baby. Just place and drag. <laughs> and it was like, Love this guy, man. just caught that ball. I fucking do. Place and drag, baby. Place, dragon was back. Then I from down, the dragon was back. So it's all about. I think. Tell me this guy's not old. Tell me he's gonna play for heaps more years. Please. Please, please, please. He's 30. Ooh, he's been playing since 2010. Jeepers. He was 195th pick in round number six in 2010. He's made six Pro Bowls. Only missing out in 2012. Man. Sweet. That is one of the most brilliant plays I've seen in a very long time. Tony Tota. Tony T. Since 2013, Antonio Brown has the most receptions and most receiving yards of any player in NFL history over a five year span. Antonio what was that? Over is the most receptions and most receiving yards of any player in NFL history over a five year span. Antonio Brown, in the historical perspective, starts to stack up with a place of all and time. drag. In 2017, place and drag. Nah, not that one. <laughs> late season injury, he still place and drag. <laughs> and nearly climbed to the top of this year's top 100. Antonio Brown has a chance to be the greatest of all receivers. Only one you! Only one you! The best in the world! The only way to top him on this year's list? You'd have to be the greatest of all time. <laughs> Who's that? I wonder. Oh, there he is. Tom Brady. Man, I've been looking forward to watching this for ages, man. It's seven and a half minutes long. That's why I've been doing each video, one video for this top. Top 10 and fuck man, we're here. I cannot, I can't believe it man. Oh, I can't believe it. We're doing it. All right guys, this, that, that was Antonio Brown. I, I've been looking forward to seeing him for, for probably about 50 players. And we finally have, you know, having Bell and Brown on the same team with Big Ben Roethlisberger. Can't wait to see the Steelers play this year. Um, geez, I've seen how, heaps of players from the Steelers. Heaps of them. And from the, the Vikings. I honestly think the Vikings would have to be the team that I've seen the most players from. Would that be right? I just feel like I've seen a hell of a lot of purple and then red and then uh, 
black and yellow as well. So I don't know. I don't know, but I'm getting there. Anyways, guys, look, if you have liked this video, if you've liked this series, if you want to support me and this channel, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you back here in 30 seconds to watch the last video for the top 100 players of 2018, Tom Brady. Let's do this shit. Peace out.